By the end of this video, you'll know how to send DocuSign documents to multiple people and you'll also learn how to make your signers sign in a specific order. So let's log into DocuSign and see how to set this up. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. Since 2019, we've helped thousands of companies just like yours automate document related workflows by using templates, databases and integrations. So if you're tired of struggling with DocuSign alone, you can book a strategy session with one of our automation consultants using the link just down below. And if you're just starting with DocuSign, I strongly suggest that you download that free free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet, which will help you understand how to use DocuSign the right way. You can find the link just right here as well. Now let's go back to DocuSign. The first thing I want you to ask yourself is, do you want to send the same copy of the document to your recipient so that they can all sign next to one another? If the answer is yes, then you can keep watching this video. But if you want to send unique versions to tens, hundreds, or even thousands of people at the same time, they need to watch this video on how to do a bulk send because this is completely different. Now, if you're still watching, we'll pretend that this document needs to be signed by four different people in a specific order first it'll be our new candidate peter owens so then it'll be after peter the internal hr and then the ceo and we also want payroll to get a copy of the document once everybody has signed so that's four people in total now the first thing you'll want to do once you're logged inside of docusign to click on start now you might also have an option where it says start and click on send an envelope depending on what version you're set up with and here we're creating an envelope from scratch rather than using a template so that you can understand the logical steps from the very beginning but in reality, if you need to do this over and over, you should learn how to build and use a template. You can watch all my videos on that topic. Step number one is to upload your document. Nothing complex here. The second step is to add a recipient. So naturally, we'll add candidate. So I'm just going to go with Peter Owen. After Peter, we want the HR to sign. So I'm going to click on add a new recipient and add myself as the second recipient, signing as HR. Then we also want the CEO to countersign. So Sofian CEO. And we also want payroll to get a copy of the document once it's been signed by everyone. However, we only want HR to sign the document after the candidate has signed. And for the CEO, we only want him to receive the document after the candidate and HR have signed and we also want payroll to only receive a copy of the document after everybody has signed so this is where the signing order comes in play and that's our step number three but don't tick this box here everybody will sign at the same time this is called a parallel signing order so i'm going to check this box and then specify in which order i want each of these recipients to receive my document so peter the candidate position one hr position two ceo position three and then finally payroll position four this is called the sequential signing order and if I wanted to have the HR and the CEO sign at the same time I would just simply use the same number in those boxes here for both recipients now the last thing we would need to change is the recipient action for our payroll because payroll doesn't sign they're simply receiving a copy now that we're done adding our recipients, we can just go to the next page and add our DocuSign fields. And that's going to be our fourth and final step. So using the drop down in the top left here, I can see my list of recipients. And you can see that each recipient has been assigned with a different color. The only recipient that's not here is payroll because payroll doesn't need fields. Payroll is not signing. They're just simply getting a copy. So we'll start by adding fields for our candidate just because I'm following the signing order. But it doesn't really matter who you're adding the field for in the first place. So Peter is our first candidate we're going to click on this we're going to drag a signature field a name field and a date field now i'm going to add the fields for the hr so i'm going to select hr drag the signature and the name and the date field and finally i can do the same thing for the ceo but there's a bit of a shortcut if you select all your fields and do command on mac or control on pc and d for duplicate the field and then the fields are just duplicated but don't forget to change the ownership of the field from hr to ceo now my signature block looks okay but because i have ocd i just just want to align all my fields together so i'm going to select the aligning tools align vertically aligning horizontally first and then vertically to the left and when I'm done, I just need to click on sign. Now, one thing that I didn't show you is to, if you have a lot of recipients, you want to check the signing order is correct and just click on the view button here. And that's going to show you who's the sender. So just the initial. So that's me. Then we have Peter Owen, the candidate. Then we have the HR. Then we have the CEO. And then we have payroll. And then everybody obviously will get a copy of the document. Now, I want you to consider a few things before you start sending documents to multiple people. For example, if one person declines to sign or doesn't sign in time, then the transaction will be canceled the envelope will be voided. 
and it's not going to be possible for you to retrieve and save that transaction. You're gonna have to create a new envelope and send it to all the people who have already signed. So just bear that in mind. You could technically save these envelopes if they haven't expired yet by correcting the envelope. And I teach this in my video on how to correct envelopes. Super helpful when you're sending documents to multiple signers. You can just watch it here. Your recipients will only be able to sign where you've added fields for them and they'll be able to see each other's signature. So if you want certain documents to be confidential and be visible for some people and hidden from others, you will need to use a feature called document visibility and I've done a video on this topic. Now the most important point is that if you're sending documents for signature often is that you need to create a template because once you have your documents set up as a template you'll be able to generate and send those documents for signature at the click of a button because DocuSign can be integrated with any software that's connected to the internet whether you're using a CRM, a HR software, an ERP or any other database of your choice how convenient would that be if you could just click on one button and have your document mail merged and send to one or multiple signers without you having to do anything. Let me show you a quick demo. So this is just my database and let's imagine that I want to send an investor agreement to four different people. We have Khaled, Amelia, Ruby and Aiden. All of them need to sign the same document. I can simply click on send this for signature and instantly document is being created and sent to these four people. Let me the envelope and show you that. If I close this page and go back to my envelope tracker this time, I can open the envelope directly from here all my recipients are in the workflow. And that only took me one click, literally. And that's because I'm using an integration between DocuSign and my database using something called make.com. You can sign up for free using the link below. But basically, I never have to log in inside of DocuSign to send my documents to anyone. And this is something that a lot of businesses really like because they can also track the completion status of all the envelopes. And once documents are completed, they will feed back directly inside of the document tracker. In the next video, I will show you how to build these automations yourself. If you'd like our help to automate your sales onboarding or even a recruitment workflow you can just schedule a strategy session with one of our consultants using the link just down below we love to build templates databases and integrations for our clients i'll see you in the next one ciao